Hey guys, welcome to Mac OS user interface design tutorials. In these videos, I'll be showing some of the basic customizations that you can achieve using um, Xcode 8 and Swift 3. Some of these tricks I'll be sharing are trivial because they are probably not available on the internet because I figured out most of these tricks. So if you're an app developer or hoping to become one, I highly encourage you to watch these videos because I'm pretty sure that you will learn something new from them. So um, let's get um, started. Today our goal is to create a window that looks like this, which I have already created, but we'll create another one. Don't worry. So um, uh, today this uh, new new window appearance has a thick and unified title, which is um, uh, shown here. So um, it just has the three standard window buttons, but it has a black appearance. It has a title, which um, you can actually drag um, actually, you can drag anywhere inside this uh, window, uh, this title bar. So um, the main goal is to actually create this thick title bar and make it a um, vibrant, uh, vibrant dark appearance. Sorry. So uh, let's uh, let's create a new Xcode project and do that. Okay. So create a new Xcode project, Coco application. Let's call this Window Layout. Okay, so first, let's go to the main.storyboard. Um, as many of you probably know, if you have um, ever familiarized yourself with um, the Xcode storyboard, is that you have um, two default views. One is a window controller, which is responsible for the appearance and behavior of the window. And then there's a view controller, which um, controls um, most of the content that you're going to put inside the view, which will be contained or embedded inside the window here. So because we're trying to create a new title bar, um, we're trying to customize the window. So we'll be focusing on this view today. So um, the first thing is to add a toolbar because we're uh, trying to create a, uh, a view that looks like this, which is actually a combination of toolbar and um, title bar, except we're not going to put so many items in there. We're just going to put one label in the center so that it looks like um, a title which is actually just a simple NS text field. All right, so let's double click that and remove all of the relevant items. This is because we want this window to look clean, like the one we have here. We don't want any um, additional um, uh, items lying around in this um, toolbar um, view. We just want this one single label here um, which has the title of this window. All right. So let's go back and, and just uh, remove all of these. We just need one flexible space so that we can make sure we can center um, our new title inside uh, the toolbar at the center. So let's um, go here and search for a label. And then we add this label here as one of the allowed toolbar items. And then we drag it into the default toolbar item so that it will show by default when the user launches the application. So now drag another flexible space so that we make sure that this label is at the center of the view. So now we'll go to display and change it to icon only. So it will only show the view itself. It won't show any of these um, headings or, or subtitles here. So that's what we want. Um, we don't want the user to customize this toolbar because we definitely don't want the user to right click the toolbar and just remove the uh, uh, label if they want to. We just want this label here and pretend that this isn't a toolbar at all. So let's um, uncheck that. But we want this to be visible at launch. We don't want the user to have to um, trigger some event in order to show this toolbar. And we should have a separator because that makes it very clear which part of the window is part of the title bar and which part is the content view below. So now we're pretty much done with this setting here. Let's actually change the name because we don't want label here. Let's change it to window uh, layout layout demo or something like that it doesn't really matter it's just um, the tutorial just, as long as you get the idea of how to edit this um, it doesn't matter okay so now we have this title here in the middle of this view right so now we need to um, check a few boxes right we just need to check unified title and toolbar because this is actually the setting that allows um, the original title bar to be con uh, to be um, mixed uh, combined with um, toolbar below that. So this one combines both of this. 
So we check that. And then we need to um, create a new custom subclass of this window controller because there is some setting of this window that is not available in Xcode. And this is pretty much why you cannot simply create a thick um, title bar without writing, uh, without writing any lines of code. So let's go here, go to new and create a file. Um, click Coco class, name it uh, window controller or anything just for an NS window controller. We don't need any um, interface file. Just click create and then this file will appear here. So one line of code we have to add is we have to get rid of the default title because if the title here, if the window, um, if this title is here, it will actually cover up this um, this part because as you'll see if the app runs, this title bar actually gets combined with the um, standard window button. So if we have this um, new um, label, which we want to use as the Windows title here, but we have the original title here, then these two are going to um, have a conflict. So we need to get rid of the default um, window title here. And we don't simply just delete the title, it doesn't work. So we go to window controller and actually go uh, type window.title visibility and we set it to hidden. So now after this line of code, this, um, this title, original title will be gone. We can build, a, um, build the app right now and see what happens. All right, looks like we still got something missing. So let's go back and check what we have um, got. All right, um, make sure that you have to change the class of this window to the view control. Uh, sorry, the window controller. Otherwise, it will not apply the change. Okay, so let, let's start again. This was a very stupid mistake, and I apologize for that. All right, now we have this um, new um, title bar here, along with the new window title. Uh, you can drag all of this part. If you go to full screen, this um, bar still shows here, and this is probably what we want. So now, the second part of this um, video is to um, Let's try to create a vibrant dark appearance like the one we are showing here. We already know how to create the default gray appearance, but if we want the app to look cooler and perhaps more unique, you might want to try the vibrant dark appearance. So this is actually really simple. All you need to do is type this line of code. Window.appearance, you just set it to NS appearance, named NS appearance, uh, name vibrant dark. And this is the only line of code you need to get the entire window into the black color. If we run the app right now, we can see that this um, entire window should be changed to the black mode. Yes, exactly. So now um, you might think that this title is a bit too bright or because it has a uh, high contrast with the black background. So if we want to make this a bit gray, that would perhaps make the view look nicer. So let's double click this and uh, select the text field go here and change the text color to something like a gray color here. And then if we run the app, it should have um, a nice gray um, title, which looks probably better. So if you full screen, we can still see it. Um, this is a separator as we have um, decided to run it like so. Now I have the title here. This is the content view. This is the separator here. And we can always go um, toggle full screen or exit full screen like that. Lastly, if you want um, to even further customize this window, you can perhaps um, consider adding a uh, special effect, um, effect view here. This will actually create a translucent background, which is um, what is commonly used in um, macOS apps right now. Let's add some constraints to make sure that this view automatically resizes with the window. And let's um, try out this app. And let's drag this to um, the new um, the empty desktop. As you can see, if uh, if I actually drag over this um, this desktop um, background, you can see how the mountains are um, actually kind of visible behind this window. So it, yeah, it works. So it, you just have an overlay of an NS effect view without having to without having to write any line of code, you can get this nice translucent uh, modern background, which is quite popular in uh, most Apple's uh, apps and along with third-party apps. 
So this is kind of um, what we we're talking about today. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video, perhaps learned something new, and thank you for your time.